Hello everyone and welcome to the Little Blue Fly. In today's video, we will be having a one hour long decorating marathon and I could have went longer, but I thought, you know, let's go ahead and calm it down a little bit and make it because I know many of us have family coming for the holiday next week. So I thought, well, let's break it up a little bit here. Um, here are some of the items I will be using and many more. I just could not fit everything on the table, but you know, here's a, a good part of it anyhow. So I hope all of you are ready to have some fabulous Christmas adventures. Now, not only do we have a video today, but guess what? We have another one coming tomorrow and there will be more throughout the week because there are several adventures I would love to take you all on this Christmas season. So that being said, let's begin, shall we? Okay, so we have many different goodies on here. I have shared several pieces during previous um, decor hauls. So for those of you that might have missed some, you might want to go back to those videos that say um, decor hauls on them because I share quite a bit about um, my different treasures here. So I, were, I was able to get a few of all, some items up here on the table, but I do have quite a bit more. We're going to start off over here to the side on this gorgeous um, hutch that I recently purchased. It was a Facebook Marketplace find. And we will just be decorating this, the entire dining room. And in the next video, I will be adding even more items in the dining room because Bev's a bit of a maximalist and that's okay, right? <laughs> We're about to have some fun. <laughs> Okay, it's, I have done so much decorating. I really do not know what is coming up um, here. So I'm just sort of going with it. This table was a Facebook marketplace find. And I have it up high today. It can go as a tall table or down. Um, when I turn it sideways, the bottom part, it can be a coffee table. The lamps were purchased from Hor Chow. I know some of you have messaged me saying, where's the links? I was unable to add them because unfortunately, Hor Chow is not carrying these lamps anymore. And I do not remember the exact name, but maybe if you did a search for black and gold French country lamps, um, maybe they might come up. The tree that's here in my doorway, half of it's in my living room, the other half here in the dining room. Um, I have a video where I share um, how I decorated the tree. Now I will be adding in um, this sweet little clock that I purchased many years ago uh, from a boutique in California. And I'm gonna start a little collage of clocks here on my wall going around the mirror. And I just thought we would start things off with this sweet little clock. Now I placed it at the bottom, but you're going to see many things 
just switch places and I'm just going along with it. And then I'll, this clock right here is what made everything change. This is, I don't know if this was a Facebook marketplace or an eBay. It does work. However, I will not be plugging it in, um, in this video for it to work. Because I just didn't feel like fussing with the cord, to be honest. Okay, so here is how it changed. So there was a break in time. I had to leave and go to Hobby Lobby and go and purchase this hook. Because the way this clock is, I couldn't hang it flat on the wall. because It just wasn't looking right. So I said, okay, fine. I'll just go buy a hook. So I went to Hobby Lobby and it was busy. Everyone was out there shopping. And then I placed my other two clocks up above. And the two up at top are battery operated. The one up at the top, I don't know if they're still selling it. If they are, I will share a link. I have not added in the batteries, but when we go into the closer look at the end of the video, because I always do a closer look, they will be working then. Now to liven things up in the corner, I did add my three-tier tray from Mackenzie Childs. And I have a serving bowl and two chargers in the courtly check placed on each shelf. And there's something about adding courtly check. It just gives that perfect whimsy feel. Or some of you like to hear whimsical, but I like to say whimsy. And it just brightens up. Well, it brightened up this corner, that's for sure. And I placed some um, berries and cedar going around the outside of the three-tier stand. I wanted to give a different view because, you know, the corner, although... I think it was still very pretty, but as soon as I added in that courtly check, it was pretty incredible, right? It just really picked it up. But now we're going to go over here into the hutch. We'll go back to that stand in a moment, and we're going to work from the top going down. This is such a beautiful piece. I have been looking and looking for the longest time. This dates back to the 1700s. An excellent condition. Okay, so at the very top, I decided to place this. I'm just going to call it a pie basket. It is handmade, as you can see, very old. And inside, it still has the stand. When one goes out picnicking, they take it out and they place the pies on top. And it's such a treasure. I just, I believe I might even make a tent. How about that? This winter and us maybe have a little picnic inside it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm feeling really creative right now. I love how this piece, it just slides, right? The top part, very different. Right now I have it in the middle and it is stacked up, um, placed up on some books. Otherwise, it would have kind of disappeared back behind the, the top piece. But again, in this video, you will be seeing many things change around. On the left and right hand side, I did place up some mirrors that, and I have these linked in my Amazon storefront. So if you go to my Amazon storefront, you will see the long mirrors. 
Now it's time to use this sweet little lamp. I did share this in a haul many months back. And we had to get a plug at the for the bottom of it to convert it. It is a beautiful vintage blue and white piece. So I moved the basket over to the side, placed the lamp up at top. I thought, let's get a little bit of light in here. The party, I just cannot believe she parted with this sweet lamp. But now we're going to move on down. I will add more up at top. Um, I, I'm putting things in their forever place, right? But we will also be adding in Christmas items as well. So the cedar and berries, um, these were purchased from... Maryfield Garden. Again, I did share these with the tag and the name in a previous video that was a decor haul. So if you're interested, you might want to go to that video um, to see the name on these pieces. I believe it's Regency, but I'm not, I'm not 100% sure. And then what I like to do with my greenery is sort of peel it back like a banana, right? And let some pieces go up and to the left and to the right. Give it that natural look and feel. And you will see um, this greenery take on a new shape as I start adding in pieces. Okay, so I have this terracotta pot. It is a moss pot. If I was to place it in water overnight, moss would grow on the outside of it. But it is kind of difficult to get moss to live um, inside the home. And I do not want to place these outside. So I will leave them as is. The one I just shared, that's sort of like... um like a low boy. It's real short and wide. I do have these listed in my Amazon storefront, some of th this pottery. Many of you ask, how do I get to your store? I hear this all the time. Under the title of this video, you will see the word more. Click on it and a box will come down and just scroll down and you will see my li a link to my Amazon storefront front. Just click on it and there you go. This is the most ornate piece um, out of the three that I will be using today. It's different types of berries and leaves. And I just placed them as such. I put the low boy up front. And now these will be getting filled. But for today, I'm just placing them up here. And again, what I like to do is I like to elevate, right? I like to elevate my spaces and then um, just bring it down like with the terracotta pots just to give that comfortable feel. This is a fabulous pear plaque by Robin King Designs. It will be linked in my description box. All of her work is vintage inspired. When you go to her site in her coupon box, type in the little blue fly and she will make sure to give you a kind discount. This is in the plaque. She can also make it in the large platter as well. All of these are handmade around the edges. She has acrylic gold, um, the aged crackling all throughout the image. And on the back, she always makes sure to sign and date the, the year 
of when your piece, because these are made to order. Okay, so she will make it just for you and we'll put the date on it. And pears, we can use these all throughout the year. Um, they just have a special feel and meaning to them during the holiday season. Just because my mother used fruit so much in the home during the holidays. And when we were children, we would wait for Santa Claus to come on the fire truck. And we would all wait in line for two pieces of fruit. It was an apple, an orange, uh, the old-fashioned hard candies, and mixed nuts. That was the best. But we had to make sure to sing really loud so Santa would come. Those wonderful childhood memories that we should always hold on to. So I placed a pair to the left and to the right. And as we go on, you will start to see um, that I will be playing with the berries, the greenery, and make them come up and out from behind the plaques. I just love everything Robin makes. I, I adore it. <laughs> now we're going to go down to the next shelf. And I will add in, um, this is a pine garland, many different uh, variegated types of, of pine. Uh, this was purchased from uh, one of my favorite shops, the Flower Gallery in Manassas. So I just placed it, you know, in the back and then had it come up front and then behind it. Um, I placed in my blue and white, um, like Lazy Susan tray. Then I have this plate holder. It will be linked. It's in my Amazon storefront. I thought it was going to be larger. This was a mistake, but it turned out to be a good mistake. They come in a set of two. So I placed in some of my luncheon plates and my bread and butter plates and teacup saucers. These are also linked in my Amazon storefront. Now they are spowed. Here's the teacup and saucer. Make sure, I like to, okay, when I am shopping for spowed, that it says made in England because not all are made in England. Some are in China and those have lead in them. I want to use my blue and whites. I want to eat off of them and drink out of them. Um, and I just like the idea that it's not filled with lead. So make sure that they say made in England. This is just the sweetest little teacup. So much detail. It's pansy season, everyone. How many of you have pansies out in your yard? I have a couple, but not too many. They come back in the springtime. This is made by Robin King. It has the yellow background. She also offers a black background. But this something about this buttercream yellow, it's simply delicious. We have some whimsy polka dots up at the top. Again, we have all the vintage crackling going on throughout the image. Um, I have my tissues in it. But I'm going to share different ways that you can use her tissue boxes. The purple and the, the yellow is just everything. Okay, so I placed them in the back. And how about we just put in some taper candles? It's a different way to use it. It's 
a wonderful way, very creative. I love doing different creative things, using things completely out of the ordinary. That is just something I love to do. But you're going to see that I did change it just because I was having a problem with this tissue box being in the back. So instead, I placed in these pear, not pears, peaches that I recently purchased from Costco. So I'm going to be decorating with them until I eat them. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> so I purchased a couple more because I am eating them. And I would be sad if I had to take it out of my decoration because it's so pretty with the blues okay down below i have my enamel cookware that was gifted um by robin king it, it was um she's so sweet oh, she's such a good person um just a thank you gift she gave me a wonderful gift card um and i was able to go and start my enamel cookware through Mackenzie Childs and I love them I adore them but I have an idea of how I'm going to use them this year we'll we'll talk more about it things are changing okay all about everywhere but look at the handles on the lids that's why I purchased those brown plate holders I thought they were going to be bigger and I was going to be able to put my lids in them. <laughs> no, that was a big mistake. And then up above in front of my Lazy Susan tray, I do have my sterling silver candle holders. That was a Facebook marketplace for just $40. Great find. This cake plate was purchased from Home Goods just recently. I love the scalloped edges and the beading up at top. Has the perfect detail for me. Okay, so I'm, I honestly, that's what I'm doing. I couldn't remember what I was doing. Okay, I decided let's get creative. Let's put a lid from one of the pots on top of this cake stand. Perfect to place in some tarts. How about a blackberry tart or an apple tart? We need to cook one this, bake one this winter. Because there's something I wanted to do with the pots um, that was different this year and not just have a lid on it. Okay, so the Lazy Susan moved from the top shelf and I just placed a, one of my soup bowls up there and now this will go down here on the third shelf. Gorgeous um, countryside um, image that they placed uh, on all of this spode, all these spode dishes. So I'm going to lay it flat this time, and on top I will put on this darling teapot. I love how it sits down low and it's chunky and highly detailed everywhere, even right up front. And again, all of these blue and whites can be purchased um, through my Amazon storefront and they are linked. There's the teacup and saucer. Next to the teapot, I have this sweet little creamer because I love cream in my tea. 
just fabulous detailing all throughout. Now, someone mentioned I would buy, because I don't use sugar in my tea, I use honey, but they said I would buy the sugar container just to have the complete set. And you know, she's absolutely right. I really, really should. Because other people do like to use sugar, right? But for now, I'll just place a teacup and saucer. Now to add in some copper. I mean, who doesn't love copper with the blue and whites, right? This was um, a recent purchase, I believe, off of eBay. It is a vintage jello mold. And here is another as well. This one is a little bit more special because it has the stamping on it of France. And I like how it's about five and a half inches tall. I like how they have the height. So they are vintage jello molds. Now this next piece, this was a sweet gift from Victoria Mackenzie Childs, the original Victoria, the real Victoria Mackenzie Childs. She's so sweet. We were talking and laughing this week, had a wonderful conversation. And for those of you that don't know, she has a YouTube presence and she's, she's uh, Victoria Mackenzie Childs right here on YouTube. And she just shares wonderful adventures for all of those that just like to take life, you know, just relax a little bit and sit there and listen to a good story. I thank Victoria so much for sending me this wonderful gift. I will forever cherish it and our friendship. So adding the copper, adding in some silver, and the pewter look with blue and whites really gives it that fabulous old world feel. Um, that's what this video is all about. You know, the, the heart of the home, um, taking things to where, what mom shared with me as a little girl. Okay, here's the pansy box. And I decided to place in some faux berries. And you'll see in a moment where I put it. <laughs> because now I suppose we're going back over here. I'm telling you, when I decorate, I just, I don't know. I just go along with wherever my mind takes me, right? It's all about, I don't, when I create, I'm everywhere. Some ask me, do you plan out what you're doing? And no, I do not. Because if I do, nine times out of ten, it always changes. So I just go with how I feel. So in the serving bowl, I placed in some Granny Smith apples because it is apple time. And I have this um, antique, very heavy um it's like a it's a eye like a heavy iron um highly detailed um stand so i de decided to place that up at top on the charger because i wanted to bring in some gold and we are going to place in some caramel dip because who doesn't love sticking their granny smith apple in some yummy caramel right So I placed them up at top and I thought of another way to use one of my lids because I want to do something different again with my pots. Look at that sweet little bird. So ornate. And I'm going to place it over the caramel. 
It just makes things a little bit more magical for the family, for the girls, right? To pick up a lid with a bird handle, to get the caramel for the apples. So what I'm making here, this is going to be our healthy um, snack station here. Uh, <laughs> because we're going to be having many unhealthy snack stations. Why? Because it's the holidays and I'm German. And I was raised with all that buttery, flaky, chewy, gooey goodness during the holidays. Okay, I have this copper pot. Um, with a wooden handle. I honestly don't remember if this was Facebook or eBay. Um, but it's going to go down at the bottom. And what I'm going to place inside is something that my mother and I, it's another special memories, another special memory. You know, during the holidays, again, mother always made it so special. Um, and we would sit there and we would crack nuts. Mom would crack them more than I would because she was a little bit more patient. So we would get the whole meat. It wouldn't be shattered. Um, and we would just sit there and watch shows together. And she would cut the Brazil nuts. And the, But my favorites were always the little round hazelnuts. Or you can call them filberts too. But so I just mixed them all together and we would sit there and just crack nuts. Well, she would and she would have a big pile of them, like about five or six of them. And I was like, oh, is she going to give me some? And she was always so wonderful. And she would say, here you go, baby. And she would hand me all of the filberts and just go. She was so selfless. I mean, I would, uh, I just want to cry thinking about her. She just, I miss her. I miss her so much. So for those of you that still have your mom, love her, love her so much. Give her hugs all the time and kisses and spend as much time as you can with her and cherish her, cherish her with everything that you are. She was, she was my best friend. We did everything together. And um, so I just feel so good bringing all these blue and whites finally in my home because for years she always collected them and I didn't like them. <laughs> I didn't like them. But as I'm getting older, I'm like, what was wrong with you, girl? <laughs> these are beautiful. Okay, I have these on camera. These kind of come up grayish. They are not. They're blue and white. And these were purchased from Pottery Barn. It's a set of four napkins. And so it is a, a blue, they call it a blue and white. I think it is Sorel Toile. I think that's the name of them. Now, when you crack nuts, you have to have a container, right? To put the uh, shells in. So I have this sweet little copper pot that I will put down and we will place our um, the shell casings inside of this pot. But until we do that, I'm going to add something a little different inside of it. You will see here in a moment. Cutest little copper pot, right? It's all about the little details. So I placed a candle inside because what we can do, get the napkin, spread it down because, you know, you get all that nut, <coughs> excuse me, that nut dust, right? And so the napkin is there. Take the candle out of the pot, light the candle, have some tea made or hot cocoa. And it's just a wonderful setting. So I thought, well, let's just keep the candle in there for right now. And then when it's time to take it away and enjoy this, you know, grab an apple with a little bit of caramel. It's the perfect little um, healthy snack. <clears throat> I have this long bar that um, 
I purchased it from a storefront that went out of business. I, I do not have any idea where to purchase another one of these. The baskets were picked up from an antique store. It's a beautiful weave that has, it's like a low boy, right? And it goes down, but then the handle and the body of it, that is a forged iron. So they have quite a good, um, a good weight to them. And this is a preserved boxwood topiary. This is in my Amazon storefront. I don't know if there's any available right now. This is quite a large piece. Um, I know it stands over 20 inches tall. So you have to have a good space for this topiary. That's the perfect aged pot. All the crackling going on in it. And I'm going to add in another garland that was purchased from the flower gallery in Manassas. For those of you that go in there, let Doug know that Bev says hi. They're so wonderful there. Okay, so I have this Mr. Metal. It's so strong. This has a very strong um, odor to it. I most of the time like to work with it outdoors just because it's so bleachy smelling, right? And I'm going to place it over this uh, vintage brass candlestick. I'm not going to bore you all with a long clean, um, you know, cleaning the brass. Although some of you like to watch it, but we're going to skip over that part. I just want to share how I... Put a nice layer on it, let, the, let it sit there for a moment, and then just rub it off. I'm not looking for the perfect clean. Just a little bit of a shine. Here they are up in the window. Now, the one on the right has been cleaned. The one on the left has not, but... When we come back, it will be cleaned. <laughs> I just wanted to share the difference. There's a lot into making videos, right? It's I have to do so much before I can even share it. I have these little candle rings that were purchased from, I don't remember where, I think Maryfield Garden. But it's the perfect variegated greenery, mixing them up. And just placed it up at top and then I have these taper candles it was by lucid lucid can be pricey but worth every penny okay so how these work well first let me share the back so they were $35 I picked these up from ba yes Ballard Designs they marked them down to $23.99, but then it was either 60 or 70% off of that price. So I grabbed quite a bit of them, bit of them, and did share them in a decorating haul. But what's great about these is up at top, you unscrew it and you fill it with an oil. So the candle always stays the same. It never burns down, but you still get the candlelight from the oil up at top i will not be lighting them today but during our christmas tour yes i will be having a tour this year um they will be lit now i have the corner cabinet but as you can see down below my arthur court roosters are demanding attention and this is um they are vintage it is arthur a r T-H-U-R, Court, C-O-U-R-T. They're vintage and they are rooster canisters. Um, I found some on Facebook Marketplace. That was my biggest uh, deals was off of Facebook. They are on eBay, but they sort of, you know, they want your kidneys or one of them, right? The price is way up there. Um, it was not that way when I first started collecting them, but now they're, they're pretty pricey. And, uh, it's a collection that I will hand down 
to my daughters. They're simply stunning. Um, I, I just, I, I love the silver on them. And then the glass jars and you can place anything inside of them. And I will be putting them um, in my hutch. But I have three, you'll see during the video, um, I have three others that will be going on my countertop. Um, but right now they're down by the Christmas tree. So like I said, many different things going on here all over the place. The corner hutch was a Facebook marketplace find. Um, I put a red candle inside of that little measuring cup just to take it out um, to go back to the original color I had in there because why? I was just filling that color a little bit more. So Arthur Court, vintage Arthur Court rooster canisters. And they come in an extra large, a large, a medium, a small, and then the little salt and pepper shakers. And those are very hard to find. And then I have a basket down below. Again, here's the three that um, I held back. And they will be on my kitchen counter. And they will stay on my kitchen counter. So again, these decor pieces, they will be staying in place. Um, and then just during the holidays, I will be adding in some of this fine transferware. This is my red transferware. I have uh, quite a large set that, oh gosh, what was it? Was it? It was either $35.40 or $45. This is the name on the back. As you can see, it's England, so you will not have the lead. And this was, back then it was Craigslist. Um, I purchased this set from an artist. Um, she was in San Francisco for many years and then Sonoma Wine Country. And it was just time for them to leave her hands and to come to mine. Now to bring things down, right? Because again, I like to elevate, but then I like to bring it down with something more natural and relaxing. I have these um, placemats from Bed Bath & Beyond. They are by B and, is it B and Willow? And I will be placing them back behind the transferware. Give it that great English cottage feel. Um, and again, just to relax things, right? Elevate, bring down perfection, right? Okay, very relaxing and comfortable. And then I have the teacups. Again, we have the English countryside scenery. And all of these are in excellent condition. No chips at all. Of course, we do have some, some crazing, right? But that's okay. But no large chips. We have all the detail inside of the cups. So really a lot like the blue and white. But I, And I love the blue and white for Christmas. Gorgeous. But I also love my red and whites as well. So we're mixing the both. Again, here is the name. You know, these are out there on Facebook Marketplace quite a bit. And then I have a large platter. So we put our ham on here and our turkey. We used to do a whole turkey, but we really don't have too many dark meat eaters. My, my mother used to walk around the house with the turkey leg. I mean, literally, she would be holding the turkey leg, <laughs> walking around the table with it. She was so funny. But now we just buy the... Um, you know, the boneless, just the breasts, right, from Butterball, and slice them up um, with a good ham shank. I'll make sure to, to share a picture um, of the platter 
filled with all the yummy turkey and ham. And I just stacked up some saucers and and some cups at the bottom. And again, in the tray, uh, the wicker basket from Bee and Willow as well. You know, just to give it that English cottage feel. Very um, welcoming, very comfortable. Now at top, I'm just going to place in a couple of items. It took forever to do this video because my kitchen, I am, it, it was a disaster zone. And I mean that. So I had to really get things together. I had to, I had to patch holes in and paint and put things away. And many of my items go to storage. So I have these uh, large pine cones. They can be purchased from Hobby Lobby and I will be putting them inside of the basket with my berries and the greenery was from Hobby Lobby. We have a different type of glow going on in here for a moment. I had to take all of the shades down because the sun is shifting but I have these two garlands. One is just a cedar and another has some pine cones and berries. So I just, I like to take two garlands and just sort of wrap them around each other. I mean, like so, nothing fancy. And then I will place it up on my chandelier And I added some black sash ribbon from Hobby Lobby. You know, something just very, there's nothing like having that simple sashy ribbon. Don't get me wrong. I love my designer ribbon as well. But I also love the simple sash ribbon and just some greenery. I will be adding more, not today. And here is the ribbon here. It was on sale last week. So this next coming week, it won't be on sale, but it's just $3.99. But the following week, it, it will be back on sale again. So many um, magical touches will, well, just a couple will be added in to uh, this chandelier. The chandelier came from Pottery Barn, but we purchased ours, I believe it was eBay. I got a really good deal. And I placed just three sashy ribbons going around. I didn't want to do overkill and have too many. And now um, I will share just a little place setting. You will see more before Thanksgiving. Uh, blue and white setting, um, these vintage turkey platters. So I started with a um, wood placemat. These were purchased from Wegmans Grocery Store. And then I have some black coasters as well. I believe these were a Hobby Lobby, um, but I love them because no matter what you place on them, it just really makes it pop. Some white plates from Home Goods. And these were an eBay purchase, the vintage blue and whites. And I just stacked them up. I have two different types of coasters, the wood one and the black, put the white plate and then my blue and white transfer wear and some of my napkins. So I had to take another break. I had to go out of town and I had to go to a Hobby Lobby and go and purchase. So what happened? I stayed out all day shopping is what happened, but <laughs> we won't go there. But look, it's all nice. But then I have all this mess over here. I took down the black shelf. The rooster is coming down. Things are changing. You will see that in a minute. Now, 
on Monday, we are finishing up. You will see what I decided to do with the whole, with the entire kitchen island. At the bottom of this stand, I put in um, a bowl and a couple of the luncheon plates because we're going to be having different items in there. You know, we like our, our you know, our olives and, you know, just our different um, finger foods um, as we are cooking our Thanksgiving feast. And again, I will come back before Thanksgiving and share the place setting with you with other items as well. So this is what I decided to place up here on the wall. No, the island has not moved yet, but I have this, um, it's a, I don't know the appropriate name for it. What is it? Like a wall plate hutch or I re I'm really not sure what they're called, but make sure to come back tomorrow because this will be decorated, the whole countertop will be decorated, and other items as well. I hope you all enjoyed this video, um, and I hope to see you all again this week.